Okay. Yes! Over 500! Woo! And now I'm wet. <laughs> Greetings, my friends and visitors. I was expecting you. My name is Tildrell, and I welcome you all to my 500 subscribers milestone video. Just let me put my Charmander away again. Hey, isn't that amazing? My goal is to get monetized within one year and in month seven that we are in right now, we already are over 500 subscribers big. This community is growing and growing. I want to thank you all again for your trust in me and your loyalty to help this small channel to maybe pop off someday. You know, it is guys like you that make it even possible for small YouTubers or YouTubers in general to grow in the first place. And of course, I'm keeping my promise and I'm starting the new giveaway with this video. I will pull three winners and every one of those three winners will get a Welkin Moon Pass and a Battle Pass paid by yours truly, by the one and only Tildrell. All you need to do to participate is to write hashtag giveaway down in the comments and if you want to do me a little favor you can add a little extra within your comment. You know you could let me know how you stumbled across this channel, you can tell me what you like, you can tell me what you don't like, you can tell me um, on a scale from 0 to 10 how much you cringe when you watch my videos or yeah, whatever, whatever you like. I mean on the point I am right now in my YouTube career, if you even can call it career. Every input is vital for my growth. I really need to know what I need to change, I need to know where I need to be better at and so on. The registration period for this giveaway will end on Thursday next week, so you all have one week and one day to get into this giveaway so you won't miss it. And then I pull the winners! Obviously with this YouTube comment picker, random comment picker website. Then you can give me your account details via Discord or you can just give me your PayPal account data so I can send you the money if you don't want a random stranger to log into your account. I would understand that. But of course I would be happy to have a little talk on Discord as well and hey, if you want it I can take a look at your account as well. And you know what? Fuck it, if we for some reason get to over 650 subscribers next week until the giveaway is ending, then I will pull one additional winner, okay? So I'm betting you all, if we get to over 650 subscribers until next week, Thursday, I won't only pull three winners, no, I will pull four winners. This shouldn't be a problem at all because my channel gets over 20,000 views each month, although I'm only 500 subscribers big, so... <laughs> And of course my second promise was to start a Discord server and yeah, it seems like I really have to start building it now. But as with video editing, with YouTube, with social media in general, I have no clue about anything and I need to work myself into this matter. So maybe we can all celebrate the beginning of this Discord server next month. After all, it shouldn't be some shoehorned Discord server that's useful for nothing. It should be a good server from the start. But let's not talk about future music. We have something to celebrate right now. And for this occasion exactly, I saved up my whiskey tasting set from the tastillery. And it would be an honor if you would stay in this video, if you would grab a drink of your own, whatever strikes your fancy, and if we could drink this together. You know this is when Tildrell becomes Childrell. <laughs>
By the way, I got a new whiskey glass with a Chinese dragon print on it. Isn't that fancy? Ha! Let's start with West Cork 16, an Irish single malt whiskey that aged 16 years in a barrel. In case you want to know what single malt even means, basically it means that this whole whiskey is from a single distillery, yeah? Nothing is bought in addition, nothing is mixed. Single malt always means it's from a single distillery. And if you want to know from which malt, usually whiskey is made out of barley malt. And a special trait of Irish whiskies is that they get distilled three times. Most whiskies only get distilled two times. This makes Irish whiskies taste milder in general and less smoky, less harsh. Hmm. It smells a little bit like apple or pears. Interesting. Well then, cheers! Mmm. Wow, that's a fruit explosion when you swallow it down. Oh my god, that's good. Very smooth, very soft and not peaty or smoky in any way. This is... Mmm. I guess this is the perfect whiskey for beginners or if you just want to try out whiskey for once and you have no experience at all. This is sensational. I really need to buy a bottle of this soon. Next up from this bag of wonders, we have Cosmo, a whiskey from Japan. Contrary to our West Cork, this is no single malt whiskey. This is a blended malt whiskey. This means that the distillery is free to buy other whiskies from other distilleries to compose the perfect whiskey sensation, whatever they have in mind. Means whenever you purchase a blended whiskey, you don't really purchase a single one, you purchase a mix between many different whiskies. A little bit of Cosmo in the glass. This reminds me of raisins, oddly enough. And a little bit of honey, but, but more raisins. Cheers number two! I hope you have a drink yourself. Mmm! A fuller taste than the West Cork, but different. I'd say I taste a little bit of honey. No raisin at all, it only smells like raisin, but it tastes like honey and um... Caramel in the distance. That's interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting, but to be honest, I wouldn't buy a whole bottle of Cosmo. But it's a nice intermezzo. Next up, Star Ward Nova, a very cool name. It's an Australian single malt whiskey and I know for sure that uh, the manufacturer stores this whiskey to age in barrels that were once filled with red wine. A very fancy product, I think. A little Star Ward Nova in the glass. Smells less intensive than the other one but it smells like a, a little bit like cranberries cheers number three the taste of the red wine comes through and it's a little bit bitter but still very smooth no smoke yeah, easy to drink. That's odd. When you breathe out, you get an additional taste from your nostrils back in your mouth. A very round and fruity taste. Now we come to a Scotch whiskey. Meet Glen Alecky, a single malt Scotch. And if you compare the color of this whiskey to any other whiskey, I just take this one, you will see that this Glen Alecky is way 
darker. This is because the color of the whiskey is only coming from the barrels he is stored in. Freshly distilled whiskey has the color of vodka most of the time. Yeah, I know another addition of unnecessary knowledge. A little bit of scotch for Tildru. Smell test. Oh, it smells very light, very flowery. Can't wait to taste this. Cheers, number four. Um, it should be fruity, I think. I mean, this whiskey has 46% alcohol, so it should be a strong one, but I don't notice this at all. It's a very interesting taste, but in my opinion, when it comes to fruitiness and to generally smoothness, the first one, the West Cork, wins against each other whiskey. Now we come to a bourbon. Koval, single barrel bourbon whiskey. Bourbon whiskies have a very special position in the whiskey world, I guess, because bourbon whiskies are not made out of barley malt. Mm -mm. They are made out of corn malt. Yeah, they are made out of corn. Additionally, for bourbon whiskies, you have to use a fresh barrel that gets burnt on the inside with a flamethrower, I guess, or something similar. And after the barrel is used one time, you are not allowed to use it ever again. And oddly enough, because of all those burning aromas that are getting into the whiskey through this method, most bourbons taste like vanilla, at least a little bit. And to make this whiskey even more special, the Koval isn't a single malt, it's a single barrel whiskey. This is even more restrictive because a single malt whiskey is only from one distillery. When you are producing a single barrel whiskey, you're only allowed to use the whiskey that's coming out from this exact barrel. This is why single barrel whiskies are much more expensive than any other whiskey form most of the time. Because once it has been drunken, this whiskey is gone forever. No replica could ever be made. I am really curious if I will taste vanilla again. This typical bourbon taste. Cheers number five with bourbon. Clink! Oh yes. Woo! But wow. This Koval is stronger than every whiskey we have tasted before. Whew. A little smoke aroma already, but not too smoky, not too peaty. And mm -hmm. in the aftertaste, this vanilla flavor comes through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next up, we have Chaos, a Danish whiskey from the Stauning Distillery. And maybe you already have noticed that on this whiskey, there is no description. Is it single malt? Is it blended? Is it whatever? We don't know because the guys at the Stauning Distillery don't give a single fuck about rules. They make whatever they like. So <laughs> We don't know what this is, and I'm really curious about the taste. Whoa. This is bacon. No shit, guys. This is... This is a whiskey that smells like bacon. What? Yeah, bacon and a little bit of honey. Will it taste like bacon? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, this is a whiskey that tastes like bacon with a little bit of grass you have in your mouth because you put some grass in your mouth. What the fuck? This is sensational. Guys, it's stunning. Wherever you stored your whiskey, I don't know if you threw some real 
bacon strips <laughs> into your whiskey when you start it, but holy shit, this is bacon whiskey. And now, greetings from Iceland with Flocky single malt whiskey from Vikings, the TV show, I guess. This is the whiskey I fear the most because the malt gets smoked on top of sheep dung. Yes, you heard right. This is basically sheep shit whiskey. <laughs> because in Iceland they use sheep dung basically to heat up everything and the people there smoke meat, fish and everything else on top of sheep dung as well. It's like a folk tradition. Whoa, that's intense. This is... This smells like you are stepping in a stable. Literally. This is like hay and... It smells like leather. If you have leather girdles or anything else made out of leather... Yeah. This is... This is literally in there. Well, then uh, reluctant cheers number seven for sheep shit whiskey. Oh my god. The first taste is very distasteful, but the aftertaste tastes a little bit like honey. Yeah, sheep shit tastes like honey. <laughs> no. But all in all, you taste what you smell. And last but not least, we have a fine addition to our collection from India. Yeah, an Indian whiskey. Amrut, Pizzat Indian single malt whiskey. I mean, Pizzat is already in the name and I was warned that this whiskey is very smoky, very peaty and for the more resilient connoisseurs of whiskey. Oh, this smells like seasoning. Okay, that's no description at all. Okay, imagine you being on vacation in India and you go to a spice market. This smells, this would smell like that. This is a spice market in a glass. Okay, the initial taste is very neutral, actually, but when you wait a little bit, the aftertaste is, yeah, here, mm, here it comes, the burn aromas, very smoky, like a campfire. When you're out with the boys or with the girls, make a campfire and, and you smell everything that burns, this is how it tastes, the aftertaste, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's a campfire in a glass <laughs> but not as aggressive as i thought still very well rounded and drinkable i don't know if togetherness is a valid adjective but it describes this whiskey very well it for me at least it tastes like togetherness when you have all your friends and you gather together around your campfire and everything it's it's very nice I would say out of the eight samples, there were two that stood out from the rest and caught my attention. The first one is the West Cork and the second one is the Chaos from Stunning. The West Cork because never before I tasted a whiskey with this fruit intensity and the second one has to be Chaos from this Danish distillery. Stunning did a great job. I mean, which other whiskey tastes like bacon? I mean, bacon. Okay, this was my 500 subscriber milestone video. And again, I thank you for your continued trust in me. I hope that we can grow in a very big and huge community. Anyway, I hope that I see you in my next videos. And the only thing that's left to say is... Bye.